hey everyone how are you doing my name is pretty Manda. welcome back to my youtube channel so if you're new here kindly consider subscribing and become part of this incredible family if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much feel welcome so today i have this story of my life where i was conned while working in an mpesa so on this fateful day uh it was 11th of may 2015 i will never forget that day so this guy comes let's call him x he's all alikuwa tu mtu nimezoea ni wale watutua mta alikuwa afanya kazi ya boda boda let's call him x so x comes in we know each other very well ni watu tunazumejuana vizuri kabisa so he comes he gives me a phone anambia kuna customer care agent on the line atakukongelesha and me i take the phone without even asking what he want to talk to me about and why me specifically so i took the call and the guy tells me uh x ametuma pesa wrong number na tunataka uamsaidie kuzereverse i don't know why that time i didn't ask him why me na si mimi nilimtumia like why this agent na si hizi tulimtumia anyway you are allowed to call me stupid so i took the call i listened he introduced himself of course mmoja wa wenyewe introducing so eloquent like you can't even suspect and then he tukafika kwa chukua simu nikachukua makio before nianze kazi nilikuwa nishaambiwa na mwenye nilikuwa na replace usiwai usiwai pigiwa simu na mtu akwambie chukua simu ya kazi ufanya 1 2 3 usiwahi umesikia nikasema ndio <laughs> so on 11th i was told take the simu and at this and this place Sinikadunde. So alipeleka tu. Mimi nasikiza tu mimi nafinya. Aniambia weka 0000 na alafu anaanza namba. So back then I didn't know it was actually a number. So he was like 00072127282. Like you would just say uwezi jua ni namba ya simu and unajua namba za kuja before za zero zenye zinakuja before any number ni insignificant. So you see? Sasa ndo najua hivyo. So he told me those things at the amount of money za kuweka ilikuwa zinaanza na zero. So you could not suspect at all. He told me they were codes. They were codes for whatever he we were doing to reverse the money. And so nikaweka, nikaweka mara ya kwanza, nikaweka mara ya pili. Makio before every time anani me hizo codes inakuja to the last part where I put my Mpesa pin and the message comes. He tells me delete that message no go back five steps five times like finya 1 2 3 4 5 kumbe ni ni kunipea simu ina alikuwa ameshare land simu vizuri like nikifinya hivyo five times naweza kuona hiyo message so nikimaliza the third the third transaction i happened to see the message like confirm to send this amount of money to this and this and i asked him boy and i made deposit pesa you didn't tell me we were depositing money he tells me uh, actually we have a training uh, for the mpesa agents and that's what we are doing but first of all we have to take all the money from mpesa agents we have them over here so after the training tazirudisha with commission edia <laughs> kanambia Actually hata kama uko na pesa yako we mwenyewe like personal money exam, apart from hizi za kazi u, ni vizuri uziongeze hapo like u, utapata utapata commission poa utapata hiyo ni ni profit niko like hmm it's not bad so nikachukua pesa yangu nikaweka nika what happened how did i even send that money i don't remember i think i sent it sent it direct i don't remember what happened how come pesa yangu ilienda i don't remember very well if i with the drew ama nilimtumia sikumbuki anywho what i know net pesa zangu zilienda and he even cha i even convinced me e cash yenye ni kona wao kwa mpesa unakuwa na liquid cash and you have the money in the phone e pesa yenye ni kona wao cash nafanya deposit nimtumie like nafa pesa yangu yo, pesa yote ya kazi nafa kwa na wow you see so mimi ni nani kachukua boda hapa time sitaki kuchelewa like tuna work na time so nikapanda boda mbio mbio 
Hiyo back then huko na agent wengi ni ocha sahi kwetu. Huko na agent wengi wa Mpesa so it was a quite quite a distance. So nikapanda nudhi bado tuko on call. We are talking, we are communicating. Tunaongea, tunasonga, tunasonga. Nafika kwa Mpesa naambia huyo mzee ni hizi pesa mbio mbio huyo mzee naongea naye kwa simu anangoja. Nikamwambia who is he? Nikamwambia ni mtu wa Mpesa, wa agent. Ha? Nikamwambia ni Mpesa customer care, Safaricom customer care. That guy laughed. Na kaniambia pili tu umekoniwa. Kaniambia what do you mean? No, it's just a training that we have. Wewe ni yakae tu pesa ni wape. Ambe umekoniwa madam, amka. Hehe. Sasa ni ni hit nikamuliza wewe mse. Before hata ni muuliza alikuwa ameshakata simu. I think alisikia. Alikata simu nikajaribu kumpigia, nikajaribu kumpigia wanachukua na uliza sasa simu nirudishie pesa za yeye akioewa so na hivyo naza sasa simu nirudishie pesa za kazi yake na hata si zangu na za mwenyewe they are like no bado tujamaliza nazo si hatujamaliza the process you just send the other ma- amount tutakutumia aya nikana hii hapa na hii statuma hata kama it's the list si tatuma hey so nikabaki hapo niko nimefreeze nimeshtuka niko like Ko serious ni me koneva like you serious so let me call the owner apige manye mwambia hey mister unajua ni mebiwa he's like i told you i don't like those jokes and when i say jokes ni mebiwa like sina pesa at all ni mebiwa ni mepigwa simu this this ni kamuliza what happened akanambia okay let me come they called the girl that I was replacing that lady who had re- I had replaced kambia hi sorry imagine you may be one I said what do I categorically told you never to do anything apart from depositing or withdrawing for someone using simia kazi what happened I told her so they came and who were in the shop akanambia tunaenda police so nikamwambia sasa mimi hapa huwezi ni blame peke yangu. Hata huyu mwenye ex mwenye aliniletea simu ni yeye actually the cause of all thing, all this. Makiu ex ni nephew wake. So kuna venye hako ataka akue kwa hiyo mix nikamwambia mimi I don't think it's right to blame peke yangu whereas hata si mimi nilifanya hiyo yende nilete hiyo simu so like if he didn't bring that phone hiyo kazi yako bado sasa ingekuwa inaendelea na mimi hata ningekuwa na pesa yangu ile ulilipa jana so akatupeleka police station me and x so police station tunaulizwa amlipeleka wapi pesa na sema na i tell them what happened and you know how sarcastic policemen are usually and is ama madam muli jekea ama ni zako eh uko sure si hawa tu wajui Kosha sasa tuliwaekea wa kutolea Even the boss started asking me how am I umejiekea am I living by fee nazo Iko like no If I wanted to pay fees with your money ningechukua ende nilipe mimi mwenyewe hata singeshinda nikisema zilibiwa So wakaniambia na miaka ndani nikamwambia it's fine as long as italeta pesa zenu it's the better actually Makio ita yote mamangu hajui what happened ajaambiwa na mtu hajasikia ni around 6 so mamangu alijua hiyo story story ile happen around 10 around 9 10 alikuwa anaijua 7 pm na wengi nilishinda nikipiga safari kwa the whole day hawakuwa anachukua walichukua around 8 and they tell me the money has been withdrawn there's nothing we can do So we had to opt to sell. Uh, so so na na tulikuwa mimi na X nilimwambia if kaka kuna kulipa ni mimi na X. So nikamwambia juu ilikuwa inakuja total of 85 ka pesa ya kazi. So we were to play, pay around 40 I guess 40 each. Nikamlipa nikamwambia mimi tutalazima tulipe si wawili. So ita ilibidi tumeuza ngombe. Thank you to my parents. Always be grateful to your parents. My mom my parents sold a cow and other things that they had to make sure that we settle that debt thank you very much mama i'm grateful and as if that was not enough i was conned again 
in my own business. Stay tuned for part two and hear what happened. Because this one was robbery without violence. <laughs>